Today, we're going to learn how to use the stack data structure. More specifically, how to use push, pop, and top. Hi, I'm James Helfrich. The stack is a sequential container providing first in, last out access to elements. This means we only have direct access to the last element pushed on the stack. There are three main methods in the stack. Push, which adds an element onto the end of the stack. Pop, which removes the element from the end of the stack or the last element added to the stack and top, which provides the client access to the last element on the stack. To see how this works, we'll start with an empty stack S. If we try to access the top element with s.top, most implementations of the standard template library will crash. It would probably be better if it asserts rather than crashes, but the standard template library tends to crash. Next, I'm going to push 59 onto the end of the stack. Now there's gonna be one element 59. And if I say s.top, I'll get 59. Next, I'll push 85. This goes on to the end of the stack. Notice I only have direct access to the last element in the stack. I do not have direct access to 59. If I say s.top, then I'll get 85. Now I'll push 19. Once again, I will only have access to the last element that I pushed on the stack, which in this case is 19, which means 59 and 85 are no longer directly accessible. If I say s.top, then I'll get 19. Now it turns out s.top, you can both read and write to it. So in this case, I'm gonna assign 52 to the last element on the stack. Now if I say s.top, I'll get 52. When I say s.pop, I will remove the last item, in this case 52 from the, from the stack, which just means 85 is now the topmost element. So if I say s.top, I'll get 85. And finally, if I do one more pop, then 85 will be gone, and now 59 will be at the top of the stack. So if I say s.top, I will get 59. This is example one from the stack chapter of C++ data structures. 